What's up everyone, welcome back. Another quick video this week. I'm going to be doing a bit of a repair on my paddle here, which I broke uh, last weekend. Just a little bit, just a minor break um, whilst kayaking at Lachine Rapids in Montreal. Uh, I'm going to give you kind of a how-to on how to do a minor repair like this. Um, on your paddles but just before we get started I should say that although I've done this a few times I'm definitely not highly skilled at it I never make an excellently finished product um, there's much a bunch of other really good videos out on YouTube right now um, to tell you how to do it a lot better but I'm gonna give you kind of the, the quick and dirty guide to how I'm gonna do it and uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So before we start, you're gonna need a few ingredients, a few things that are gonna make it much easier for you to achieve this task. You're gonna need some gloves, ideally nitrate gloves, but I only have these latex ones, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Um, some sandpaper, I've got 60 grit here, but not very much of it, so hopefully it works out with that. Some two-part epoxy resin, or like fiberglass resin. Um, this stuff I have sucks, but I really like the West Systems brand resin. That seems to mix very well and give the best outcome I've found. Uh, I've got some carbon material um, that's like cloth now, and I'm going to use that in combination with the in combination with the, the resin to make it go hard and kind of cover over where my paddle's broken. Um, you're going to need some kind of peel ply or plastic wrap, um, which is going to go on towards the end and help you finish it. And then lastly, some duct tape. Um, it's also ideal if you have something to mix it in. So I'm gonna use this plastic cup, um, a brush. Um, I like to use a scale so you can get a, a more accurate uh, mix on your resin. And yeah, all right, let's go at it. So step one, we're going to find and mark out our affected area. I can see my cracks kind of like on the edge here, um, which is pretty good because it means it's not going too far down but I'm actually gonna do um, a, a bigger patch than the crack just to allow for a little bit of additional well just it's gonna be easier to do that way so anyway tape off the area where you are going to be working that just gives you a better idea how much you have to sand so that's roughly what I'm gonna be doing on this side on the other side Now you see this side's all wet and gross because I've had it in the grass, so I'm actually going to wait and do this side once it's dried out. Step two, now I'm going to sand this whole area down um, just to get all any kind of dirt and, and grime and grease off uh, that might be sitting on it and that I'm rubbing on it with my fingers right now. It's really important that we prep the area well uh, because that's going to make the resin kind of take to it a lot better and kind of hold it, hold it all on there together and try and get a full size piece of sandpaper and a nice rubber block or something or a cork block that'll help a lot with your finish I don't have that it's just... I've given it a pretty reasonable sanding um, I need to hit it with a Probably like a piece of wet towel or something just to get all of the like kind of fine carbon dust off of it. All that carbon dust is going to stop your uh, resin from, from setting very nicely. Um, and then it'll probably, your repair is just going to peel off in like four to six weeks. So take the time now, give it a good wipe off, get all the kind of grime and gross stuff off it. If you don't think it's sanded out quite enough, then go hit it again or hit it some more, hit it with a um, a coarser uh, sandpaper until you're really happy that it's all the whole area is roughed up and that the resin is going to take really nicely to it. Really ideal here is if you can hit this with um, an alcohol wipe or some rubbing alcohol or something like that, and that does a really good job of just lifting out all the gross stuff. But uh, all I have is this damp paper towel, so. That's what, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna use. So next up, I want to measure and cut my new carbon piece that's gonna go um, in the gap here. So I'm gonna just kinda do this down in front of you here. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing, but essentially I'm just gonna cut a couple of pieces to size um, with a little bit of margin to overlap this edge here. As 
you can see I've kind of cut my pieces roughly what they're going to look like next up I'm going to mix up my resin I just weighed it I want to get it good and mixed around then I'm going to rub it onto where my break is really make sure all the fibers are nice and impregnated and then apply the material add a bit more of this stuff and then put the plastic wrap over the top and then let it set so hopefully So, added the plastic, taped it down, hopefully that's going to have a nice outcome. Now we're going to leave that to cure for whatever the cure time it says on your uh, resin. Normally it's a few hours, uh, depending on what temperature you're in. And then we're going to take it off, sand it up so it looks a bit prettier, and then you're done. That's it, how we do a carbon repair. The last thing to do will be just to trim off this loose part, an excess that hasn't taken very well get the last of the plastic off and then put a new stick on that and call it done I think and that is that